Hello everyone and welcome back to SnowRunner. Last episode we looked at this thing, the Yerf Dog. It's a little go-kart that is shit at everything, but it's so fun to drive. But today we are going to something actually quite... Actually not that bad. So if we take a look in the Scout Store, there is something called here. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that the btr gaz it is a scout truck which has a huge fuel tank and i've heard that it's trying to rival the apc for like genuine in-game balanced performance so let's see what you've got you've got the mxi the mxr2 and the mxrp so I'm going to go with the P because it my man P's performance. Uh, high range because we want that speed. Uh, for right, suspension, we've got stock, which is quite high. Active. And then custom suspension, which is super tall and soft, which means rock crawling. Uh, Off-road, we've got excellent, excellent. Oh, my God. We've got 55-inch tyres. Mud tyres, we've got 47 inch, and then chains, so... Uh, let's go with then the off-road ones. Winch, we've got our autonomous scout, because again, this is a scout. Yes, this thing is in the same class as that tank from a couple of episodes back. Uh, snorkel. Uh, oh, let's do the intake air filter, because that thing looks dope. Miscellaneous, we've got a trailer hitch or a scout trailer hitch. Uh, let's go with a regular trailer hitch because, you know. Oh, we've got a camo green cover and a red cover, but I like the green better. It's more military. Let's see. Beacon light. Uh, be don't want that. Don't want that. Oh, oh I, don't, I do like that, though. I do like that. And I can't change roads. Paint jobs. Let's see. We've got the red. There's a green. There's a military green. Sorry, yeah. Bobbleheads, uh. Okay. Accessories, we've got the little player cards. Let's put the little dice in there. Aww. And that is us done. Now, as you can see, it's got a healthy fuel tank of 460 litres. And, I believe, yes, it has extra fuel. 340 litres! Okay. And as you can hear, it uses the same engine from the APC. So, think of this thing like a jacked up APC that's pissed. So, let's... Oh, right, so we've got all the trailers that we can have. To our heart's content. And look, look at those flashing lights. They're, they're dope. Now, naturally, it is all-wheel drive. But it does fail to have the diff locks. Because that is only available in a low gear. So, we will have to see how much that actually affects performance. But right off the bat, like, this is a fully decked-out combat vehicle. That seems on the face of it if i can actually turn to get up the hill like it's super capable super chunky i mean look at that it's just going through the wilderness without a care in the world i mean look at that look at that that is just dope but, yeah, I mean, look at it. It's just super at home. Doesn't care. Fantastic ride hat. Why are all the Russian vehicles... Well, that rock just descended. Now, let's see. I'm going to stick this. Let, let's actually reverse. Get a good angle. And let's chuck it in low. Diff locks on. Let's see what it can... Oh, wow. It's really slow in low. But I'm hoping those chunky ass tires will help us a lot. It's it's doing it. It's slow, but it's doing it. No 
problems or queries at all. Actually, I wonder... Let's see what it's actually like without the diff locks, like if it struggles at all. Okay, it really doesn't. It just goes. It just flat out goes. Oh. I seem to have Austin Powers dick. Ow! Right, let's go off here. Huh. Nailed it. Man, do you since I say that, how many repair points do I have here? Repair. Oh lord, there is 250 points and a spare wheel. So. Okay, let's continue. Now, bear this in mind, it is all designed to be balanced in the game, so don't expect anything preposterous right off the get-go. But, you know, in here, it, it reminds you of like a warthog and an APC having a love child, where it's just like, da 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 I'm happy, I'm happy. Now, let's actually see how it does in the depths with no diff lock. Oh. Oh, it just goes straight through. It doesn't care. This is actually doing better than the tank. This is doing much better than the tank. With no diff locks, mind you. It just... Ah, uh, excuse me? Try the pipes if the diff lock to catch it there because usually the big tyres get stuck in the... Oh, we bounced and we got quite a bit of damage, but... It did a wheelie! Okay. Huh. Off to... The off-road segment. Huh. Let's see if it bottoms out now. I have faith in this thing because it's got quite a stubby wheelbase. Oh, fuck. So I, I expect it just to hop from bump to bump. <laughs> Look at it go. He's like, oh, bump. He go bump. Oh, God. I'm going to be sick. I'm going to be sick. Huh. If my driver is not regurgitating his lunch by now, he will be. Huh. But that... It goes through, and bear in mind, no diff locks. I'm very impressed, but now we've got to do what, well, let's be real, it's the Tomcat test of how far can we eat this thing off a hill and will it survive? But look at it, it looks like a Halo rescue vehicle. I'm just so impressed by this because obviously you can add these to your campaign runs and... I think with the fuel, it's a little overpowered because you've got tons of range. But the capabilities are just not OP enough where if you mistreat it, you will get stuck. But hang on. Let's go down the hill. Fifth gear. We're maxing out. The needle won't climb. Are you ready, little skull friend? Let's go. Whee! And it lands perfectly. Look at that. Wait a minute, it did it climbed out of here with a flat wheel. Let's uh fix you up there, bud. There we go. But no the uh GTR gas is certainly something well, that's physics. But, look at it. It's got tons of great ground clearance. Huge, chunky tyres. And, especially doing this without diff locks, it feels like you're doing it with diff locks. Because it's got grip for days, and it just...
keeps plowing like a trooper. But anyway, if you enjoyed this, let me know in the comments down below. And I certainly hope to see you like, subscribe, be back for the next episode, whatever it may be. But until then, bye-bye.